The following program is made possible by friends and partners of GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. If you would like Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez to pray for you in his prayer time, kindly send an email to prayer at gabrielfernandezministries.org or visit the daily prayer list section of our website. Connect with us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram where you can receive more inspiring and prophetic content. Simply search for Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez on social media. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us. Today we are rejoicing, we are glad, we are happy. We're receiving this day with open arms. My dear friend, it is another opportunity to make your mark, and I encourage you to do so. Aim to live in such a way that you will not leave this world without making a substantial impact. It's so essential that we as born-again believers make an impact that will last forever. My dear friend, I've got a special message for you today and it's got a funny title, but you'll understand even as we go along. The title of my message is King Uzziah Must Die So That God Can Move. Now, I'm going to take my reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 in the ISV version. It says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon His throne, high and exalted. The train of His robe filled the temple. Now, my dear friend, it's not by chance that the Bible starts by saying in the year that King Uzziah died. Notice how it starts and it says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. It's not by chance that it starts like this. The Bible is saying something. The Bible is trying to give us a message. You see, the Bible is not just a storybook. It's not a storybook and it's not just journals of history and everything, even down to the last full stop, has a meaning. There is a revelation even behind the full stops in the Bible. It's so essential that we understand this. The Bible is saying something to us. King Uzziah first had to die so that God could move and start working, meaning that God was refusing to move while there was still a King Uzziah. There are certain bad things in our life, my dear friend, that can be represented by the name King Uzziah. There are certain bad relationships, my dear friend, that once you let go of them, your breakthrough will manifest immediately. There are certain bad habits. Once they die, your breakthrough will manifest. There are certain mindsets that must go so that God can come through for you. There are certain situations that have been causing you to be in a mess and those situations must leave before you can see God's move. There are certain locations that you can't have the power of God and more fire while you are still in those locations. You need to let go and move on in order for God to move mightily. Whatever situation it is, my dear friend, that is blocking you, that situation is called a King Uzziah. King Uzziah needs to die so that King Jesus can take over. I want to read this scripture one more time and now I'm sure it will make sense to you. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon His throne, high and exalted. The train of His robe filled the temple. And you might be praying, Lord, give me breakthrough. Come through for me mightily. Do something mighty, do something awesome. And then you begin to notice that certain situations start to die. Certain things start to change. Certain relationships break. And you'll be wondering at this point, you'll be wondering and saying, but I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, help me. But now these situations are breaking. These situations, these relationships, they're all going wrong. So you might be wondering what's happening. And God is telling you he is removing the King Uzziahs out of your life so that he can give you the breakthrough that you've been desiring. King Uzziah must first die, my dear friends, so that your breakthrough can manifest. Today, open up your heart and receive even as God gives you your breakthrough. As King Uzziah dies, your breakthrough will manifest. Let us pray powerful prayers today so that King Uzziah must die and King Jesus can take over. It's so essential that as a born-again believer, King Jesus is the king of your life. 
So today, my dear friend, even as we pray, I encourage you, give it all to the Lord, humble yourself in prayer, and even as you do so, God will take over control and God will give you the breakthrough that you've been praying for. In saying that, let's begin to pray. Take your cell phone, your device, and just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin by praising God. Begin by lifting up praises to God. And even as you do so, my dear friend, God will begin to come in the place and God will bless you. In saying that, let's begin to praise Him. Father, You are my God, and I just praise You. You are my dear friend's God, and we praise You. There is no other God like You. You are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. Be glorified and be magnified. Be lifted high, O oh God. Be lifted high in my life and in my dear friend's life. Wherever my dear friend might be watching, let your presence and your power manifest in that place. Let your anointing just begin to blanket, my dear friend, like a warm blanket around my dear friend. And let the breakthrough manifest. And Lord Jesus, King Jesus, we invite you to come and take over control. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. In saying that, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. I'm not going to talk to you much. Now, even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands. Lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, help me to let go of all King Uzziah's. Help me to let go of everything that can be represented by a King Uzziah in my life so that my breakthrough can manifest. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is watching, bless my dear friend mightily. Lord, I pray wherever there are any situations that are standing in your way, wherever there are any bad habits, bad mindsets, bad relationships, bad friendship circles, bad surroundings, bad friends that are holding back the breakthrough of my dear friend, let them be removed out of the situation so that your breakthrough can manifest in my dear friend's life. And let my dear friend go to a greater glory and a greater altitude. Father, I'm praying for fresh revelation. As whatever situation it is, as it is removed out of the picture, give my dear friend fresh and new revelation. Because man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from you. And this word is rhema word. This is revelation knowledge. Lord, we need revelation knowledge in order to survive. Revelation knowledge from your spirit. Give my dear friend this divine knowledge even on my dear friend's life, even today as we pray that King Uzziah will be removed out of the situation. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Now I speak a blessing over you, my dear friend. May that situation that's standing in the way of your breakthrough, may it be removed out of the picture promptly so that you can experience a mighty breakthrough, a breakthrough on another level so that you can experience the miracle working power of God. May God manifest mightily in your life and may King Jesus take every place where there was a King Uzziah so that the right King, the King of all Kings, the King of glory, King Jesus can be in control. And as that happens, may you be blessed going in, may you be blessed going out. May every area of your life be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. It is a done deal. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, until next time, Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.